walking past my treasure trove of shoes on the way into the gym last week, I spied a little gem glinting for me. The Volt Ram 2s. The GOATs. How could I resist? I'm snatching again. I thought, let me put them on and blow some snatches out of the water. What a shoe. Light but rigid in the sole. They capture the flexibility and rigidity you need in the sole underfoot in terms of feel and practicality. The looks match what the shoe is. An obscure sport that needs your uniform to make a statement to let people know that you two probably are a little bit obscure. The shoe fits tight but not restrictive on the Olympic lifts. It makes for truly one of the best weightlifting shoes ever made and as you know I've tried a lot of them. I will say however they lack a little bit on the squat. I know I know heresy but given I didn't squat 300 kilos on them it must be admitted that they feel oddly restricted underfoot on the heavy back squats me now that I've tried some other shoes in the newer models. How quickly I forgot the trials of the snatch, I forgot that it was complicated. Six weeks away, I returned fresh and eager to smash 120 kilos, but by the third session back, doubles at 110 kilos remained frustratingly far from perfect. After the emotional disappointment of not having the perfect snatch wanes, I'll send the video to Anton and he'll tell me where I fell low. Daily I'm working on hard at my mobility in all areas, aiming for better mobility than ever, while you'll see me benching 120 kilos for four for a tidy PB. All I need is 141 kilos to beat Fitz, and I'll have the office record. Now I'm actually not entirely sure what my best ever bench is. I thought I'd done 130, but that is so long ago, I'm not really sure if that ever really happened. I'm sure I've done 120 because I did 120 this year, but I've just never been one to progress the bench. However, at the moment, I'm weirdly enjoying it, and this 120 for 4 is a bit of a volume landmark. I'm not pushing it incredibly aggressive, but I am eyeing up some weights. There's a minimum number I would like, which I think would be a respectful bench, and then I'll probably stop or at least keep it in for the hypertrophic purposes. Lastly, enjoy the series of 220 kilo squats as I progress the intensity and look to reclaim the volume I used to be able to do at 220 for 5 or more reps. Currently squatting 3 times a week and the back squats are mostly at 220 kilos. Lower back is a little bit fatigued from the squatting and the weightlifting and all the pulls because I'm a pulls guy now. I love pulls. Pulls are number one. I get hyped for pulls. I look forward to doing my pulls. Yeah, you know that's a lie, but I'm still doing my pulls as I should because they're very, very important for my lifting. But I can't honestly say I'm eager to hit PBs in the pulls, except for the clean deadlift just a little bit. But I did a heavy clean deadlift a couple of weeks ago that you saw at 250, and I'm going to say the next day I was pretty fatigued. But pulls are what this boy needs, so pulls I will be doing. I hope your training is going well. I hope you're enjoying the training vlogs, and have a great training week.